Hello, this is Burl Tisher with Digital Woodcarver. We're going to show how to import fonts. Um, this is a website I went to and I downloaded this American Type Write HC. I downloaded it here. And actually, I'm going to move this screen. But it is. Um, I just simply put it to my um, desktop, American one, and then TTF is the file type. And then uh, if I just right click, copy it there, once I got it copied, I go to my C drive, go into Windows, and there's a font file. You're going to see tons of these files here. Now I've already put this one in but I can right click and paste it it's going to tell me I've already got it there and we'll do we want to replace it uh, at this point I can say yes and it's going to install this there and that's really it as far as putting the font in that's all you need to do we're going to close out that window and we're going to open Bobcad um, program Okay, now that Bobcad's open, we will um, check for that font. We just click on the font, and now we're going to look for, we can type it in here, American, there it is. And this is a test. We'll do about one inch high. Okay, and there we go. That's our, that's our new text. Okay, the other thing we're going to do is import images, and we'll go to Bob Art, click on image, right click, and load an image. This brings up our um, uh, little open icon here. We pick on what we want. Um, JPEGs is what's there now. If you'll go down here to file type, you can click on all file types, and you see how a lot more things come up. Just be careful when you do all file types. It's got to be a f format that Bobcat recognizes. JPEGs, BMPs um, are, are formats. So uh, if you want to know what that list is, you can do the click down and look for it on here uh, on that. But uh, we're going to open that, see how it pulls it in. And then once you've got that in, we're going to right click over here and we're going to vectorize it. And this is what's going to change it from that BMP to line art. You see what I did here is this toolbar will change the um, uh, kind of the resolution of it. If we take it down too far, see how some of the stuff disappears. What we want to do is we're looking for the cleanest lines as, that we can get around here. We can also change the size of it. Take that to 6. And when we do that, make sure we keep... Um, aspect ratio the same that way it's proportional we do okay see how the lines go up here now I got my text in in the way there but um, uh, anyhow you can see how it vectorized it if you see what I did there I right clicked on that I blank and unblank and that will make that background picture disappear so you can work on it Let's move that, this is a test out of the way. We go up to translate. We do a drag. We click on it. Click OK. Then we can get it up out of the way. Go over here, cancel. Now we can work with our, our line art from there. Hopefully this um, video was helpful.